Hi, we uh, are here today with Varun Verma from the back of the team to talk about protecting your critical SQL servers. So Varun, over to you. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate that. So yes, today I'm going to talk about Backup Exec 15 protection for SQL servers. And before I touch upon the backup and recovery portion with my lovely example diagram here, I'm going to talk about why SQL protection is so very important for backup admins. So what SQL holds is very critical, business critical, mission critical information in those data uh, in those data stores. So protecting them becomes very important because what happens is with SQL, people always want it online and functional at all times. So making time out for backup and recovery becomes so daunting for those storage admins. So what Backup Exec offers is a solution which is designed for protection of SQL servers. So let's look at the backup, uh, what Backup Exec provides for backup and recovery options for SQL servers. So it protects Backup Exec first point. Backup Exec protects both physical as well as virtual SQL servers. So both are protected and supported by Backup Exec. And uh, what Backup Exec protects, it protects a SQL server uh, of uh, restoring SQL data back to a time when data was last written to a SQL database. So that is supported, and that is a vital component of protection for SQL servers. And a wide variety of backup options, flexible backup options are available from Backup Exec, so you can mix and match full backup, incremental backup, and differential backups, log copy based backups with Backup Exec server of your virtual or physical a SQL service, so that is supported. Now, another thing which is supported is restore of file groups. So file groups are very important to SQL admins, and that is supported. Restore of that particular individual file group is supported by Backup Exec 15 servers. Now, uh, one important aspect is storage, uh, storage options for uh, protecting of SQL servers, right? So Backup Exec protects, supports wide variety of storage options when it comes to uh, storing those SQL uh, backup data to storage. So a cloud is supported, and uh, deduplication disk or disk systems are supported. Tape library or a tape drive, both are supported. So all these wide, flexible variety of uh, options of, for storage is supported. And uh, uh, now that we have looked at the a variety of flexible options provided the backup exec for SQL protection, let's look at the components which are involved in the protection gamut. So the primary component involved is the backup exec server itself. It's a backup brain behind the entire protection. It controls the backup job policy. It protects, uh, it, it, this is the place, this is the guy where you can sit and manage the protection, create SQL uh, database selections. You can create a recovery job right from this guy. So this is a very important guy. It manages a catalog. So th this holds all the vital information required for complete SQL protection. Now this next component is the agent for Windows, which this guy owns and deploys on the participating SQL servers. So remember, always remember that to have agent for Windows, it's recommended even if you're agent for uh, SQL servers or on a virtual platform, Hyper-V or VMware. Backup Exec recommends to install Agent for Windows on top of that, so that a proper caressing of the database uh, can take place and uh, additional meta metadata can be collected for a granular restore of SQL databases. So, so Varun, I've got a question for you. So yes. we now know um, how it works, where it can be stored, we support physical and virtual. What about the different versions of SQL itself? Which of those are supported by Backup Exec today? Can you explain that for us? That's a good point, Bill. So all major versions of SQL are supported by Backup Execs right from 2005 to 2014. So 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, 2014, all versions of SQL are supported. And you can even mix and match different versions of SQL in the same backup job. So that is supported as well. So this was uh, pretty much about the backup and recovery portion. Now, now when it comes to best practices, always make sure that uh, I, I just wanted to make sure a couple of uh, best practices. So always make sure you have run a separate job for log, log truncation with an agent for Windows deployed on that SQL server. So that was one, and always leverage the full capabilities of backup exec, uh, the full backup job, differential backup job, incremental job to mix and match, mix and match those uh, different options to suit your uh, SQL protection needs. So that was pretty much about SQL protection.
Yeah, thanks, Varun. Great explanation. SQL is a critical application, as we know, so this is great information for our customers and our users. So Absolutely. thank you for joining us. Thank you.